안녕하세요. Hello, k i d friends. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing very well. Today I made this video because one of my viewers wanted to know what kind of noodles to use when making different noodle dishes. When you go to Korean Mart, there are so many types of noodles, right? Sometimes some products don't even have English labels, making it difficult to know what to buy. So I will let you know which noodles you should buy and also introduce the ones that I have tried and found to be good. Shall we get started together? Puksu. If you go to a Korean market, you will find an incredibly wide variety of noodles. Noodles are made by mixing wheat flour with a little salt and water, kneading it into a dough, and then pulling out the strands and drying them. Noodles come in two main types, thin noodles and regular noodles. Thin noodles are, as the name suggests, thinner, and the slightly thicker ones are regular noodles. The two types taste the same, but they differ in thickness and cooking time. Otugi brand has its name in English on the packaging, so it should be easy for you to find. I also tried the s a m p i o brand thin noodles recently, and they were delicious. Although this brand doesn't have its name in English on the packaging, p e x o brand thin noodles are also good. This might help when you are choosing noodles. By the way, I recently bought and tried the rice thin noodles from the market and they were surprisingly chewy and delicious. For those who can eat with flour, these rice thin noodles might be a good alternative. There is a wide variety of dishes you can make with these noodles. Let me show you some dishes you can prepare with these noodles. c h a n c h i g u k s u c h a n c h i g u k s u is a representative dish served at feasts for treating guests, especially at weddings. The dish is served by placing various topping on the boiled noodles and pouring hot beef broth over them. Originally, beef broth was used, but these days anchovy broth is also commonly used. b i b i n g u k s u b i b i n g u k s u is a refreshing noodle dish where boiled noodles are mixed in a spicy, sweet, and tangy red pepper paste sauce. Together with fresh vegetables, it is one of the representative noodle dishes that Koreans frequently enjoy. Kimchi b i b i n g u k s u Kimchi b i b i n g u k s u is similar in taste to b i b i n g u k s u but instead of using various vegetables, you mix the noodles in a sauce made with kimchi. It's a dish you can make easily make at home when you don't have many ingredients but have some kimchi. It's delicious as it is, but it's also great with a topped egg if you have one. k a n j a n g g u k s u Soy sauce noodles are among the easiest noodle dishes to make. All you have to do is boil the noodles and mix them with soy sauce, honey or sugar and sesame oil. And you have soy sauce noodles. It's a very convenient noodle dish that you can make and enjoy as long as you have noodles. k o n g u k s u I recently uploaded a video on soy milk noodle soup, which is a dish often consumed during the summer. The dish is made by boiling and grinding soybeans, then pouring the blended soybean soup over noodles and topping it up with various garnishes. As it's made from ground soybeans, it's nutritious and vegetarians can also enjoy it by simply omitting the egg. t a n g m y e o n I chose glass noodles as the second item. If you go to Korean market, you will find many types of glass noodles. Generally, glass noodles are made from sweet potato starch. I often use otugi glass noodles, which are labeled as Korean b o m i c h e l l i p e x o l is also branded and many Koreans favor. Unfortunately, there's no specific English name for it. There are many dishes made with glass noodles, but the most representative one is chapche. Chapche is a dish made by stir-frying glass noodles in a soy sauce-based seasoning and mixing them with ingredients like stir-fried meat, mushrooms, and spinach. It's one of the most loved national dishes in Korea. Additionally, glass noodles are also used in making dumplings and add a delightful taste. They are also often added to soup and stews. Naengmyeon Naengmyeon is made primarily with a mixture of wheat flour and buckwheat flour. There are mainly two types of naengmyeon, m u l a n g m y e o n and bibim naengmyeon. m u l a n g m y e o n is a cold noodle dish where beef broth or t o n g c h i meat broth is poured over the noodles and garnished with various toppings. Bibim naengmyeon is made by mixing the noodles with a spicy sauce instead of a cold broth.
I have tried the Bosu Cheongsu Mul Naengmyeon and Wang Hamung Mul Naengmyeon, and personally, I think the noodles of Cheongsu Naengmyeon are slightly better. If you crave a Naengmyeon but find making the broth challenging, you can buy pre made Naengmyeon at a Korean mart. The package typically includes the broth, and by boiling and rinsing the noodles for around 40 seconds, you can recreate a taste almost like a homemade naengmyeon. By the way, it goes really well with bulgogi or kalbi dishes. Jajangmyeon This is a type of fresh noodles I often use when making jajangmyeon at home. You can use these noodles when making jajangmyeon, jampong or udong. Just look for the package with the udong, and jajang, written in English on top. Jajangmyeon is a Korean Chinese dish made by stir frying onions, chicken, cabbages, and pork with deep fried chunjang, then mixing it with thick noodles. Whenever I crave jajangmyeon, I sometimes go to a Korean Chinese restaurant near my home to enjoy. Jampong. Jampong is a type of Korean Chinese cuisine made by stir frying vegetables, seafood, and meat, then boiling them in a spiced broth into which noodles are added. The same type of noodles used for jajangmyeon are used for jampong. Among Korean Chinese dishes, my favorite is jampong. The top three Korean Chinese favorite menu items for Koreans are jampong, jajangmyeon, and tangsuyu. Kalguksu. Kalguksu is a dish made by boiling thin wheat flour noodles in a warm anchovy seafood or chicken broth, among with ingredients like onions, zucchini, and potatoes. In the past, these noodles were often made at home by hand, but nowadays, many stores sell pre made kalguksu noodles manufactured in factories. If the packaging doesn't have English letters, you can look for the English description that says kalguksu. Jolmyeon. Jolmyeon is a chewy noodle dish mixed with a sweet, tangy, and spicy gochujang sauce. The noodles are made from wheat flour and starchy, giving them a slightly thick and chewy texture. You can find jolmyeon in the refrigerated or frozen food section of a Korean market. If you like to enjoy jolmyeon, you can purchase packaged Korean-style chewy noodles from the market. The package usually includes two servings of noodles and the accompanying sweet and spicy sauce. So all you need to do is boil the noodles and mix them with the sauce. If you do prefer to make it more affordable, you can buy just the jolmyeon noodles. And refer to my jolmyeon video to make the dish at home. It could be a fun way to customize the dish to your liking. Memilguksu. Jengbanguksu is a Korean noodle dish that's served in a large platter, often shared among multiple people. Jengbanguksu is made by mixing buckwheat noodles with a spicy sauce and various seasonal vegetables right before eating. The noodles used in a Jengbanguksu are called buckwheat noodles, and you can find them in a Korean markets labeled as buckwheat noodles. In the past, I used to make Jengbanguksu with dried noodles, but these days you can also find fresh fresh buckwheat noodles in the market, which could be a great option. How was today's video? I hope it helps you when you visit a Korean mart to buy noodles. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.